We are putting the family court on trial. We charge the court with separating us from our precious children. The Home Office detains and deports us while the court snatch our children. As women, we demand protection from domestic violence. The best protection for a child is protection of the child's mother. Foster carers get upwards of £400 a week for having children in foster care. Imagine if mothers had even half that money. I am here to charge professionals, social workers, judges with discriminatory attitudes towards us. You think we can't raise our children because we are disabled. My job is to find the facts, okay? Yeah. I will be holding a fact-finding hearing and I will find everything the woman says is blatantly a lie. The school sent social services. They arrived with the police. They labelled me as a big, black, aggressive, mentally ill woman. The whole setup was orchestrated. We want to know how much money is being wasted on police forces policing mothers and children. The courts are robbing our children of loving mothers. We need to open the courts. We need to stop this secrecy. Taking children into care is very high status. At no other point are you so well regarded by your managers. Now the truth is coming out. My grandson is now, you know, at school age and he's thriving. He says to me, Nanny, I'm in a happy place. And, and you know, that, in fact, that, that makes me cry because to think that they nearly took that baby from us. The work of caring for families and children has been completely devalued. And we are insisting that we want the flexibility so that we can raise our children. I charge you, how dare you? What gives you the right to break up that precious, healthy, life-giving bond? Today we want to remember Elaine Morrill. She only put the heating on when the children came home. So when she was found dead, she was wearing her coat and scarf in the house. My children were made to live with their father four years ago. In family courts, 70 to 90 percent of cases involve domestic abuse allegations. 99 percent of those will be given contact. You know, not all men are violent. Huh? And even if they are, to give them uh, uh, the, the, the contact with the child or even residence would be a good thing. My mum was detained and um, me and my brother were taken into care. Social services didn't make any attempt to send us to school, but now I'm with my mum and my brother. So. Her children were taken away from her in the family courts because they said she had failed to protect the children from witnessing their father being violent to her. Men often continue their abuse of women by taking them through the family court. 19 children in 10 years have been killed due to badly managed contact orders, due to victims of this system being ignored. How much more blood do you want on your hands? And I think on International Women's Day, to, for some men to have won and to have fought for the ability for a human being to take care of another human being is a tremendous victory for women. Today we also charge social workers and the family courts for labelling sex workers as bad mothers. We also charge the government with pimping. Yes. They cut our benefits and what do they think women are going to have to do? We are here to say that we are mothers and we are not surrogates. What is the crime that has been committed? that we should be punished in this way. They can't charge us with a crime, so they take our children. We want justice now. Yeah, justice now.